Uh, shalom, our commissioner for Kamak Pasha and Jim Islam, giving all praise to Jehovah Hashem, Yahashai, by Hashem, Rakal Kodash, that were honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and honors that led to the brethren on and the highest by the is truth in all sincerity. Okay, just a quick one, right? Given um, what's been happening there in the land of Israel um, recently with um, uh, Mr. Trump um, setting uh, the US embassy in Jerusalem, uh, recognizing Jerusalem as a, the capital of Israel, which it is, <laughs> you know, but you know, this is all caused um, contention um, in the country. Okay, we see them, the, the protests and the gunning down of, of, of the, the protesters by Israeli troops, you know, the Palestinians, right? Can't remember the number, um, doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay, but, um, you know, all, all this that's, that's going on in the land of Israel is meant to show you, or meant to you know, be, like, yeah, it's meant to show you that these people, these, these so-called Jews, these Israelis are not Israelites, man. They're not the Lord's children, man. Okay, because none of this stuff should be going on. Okay, none of this stuff should be going on, man. If they're the Lord's chosen people, right, and they're in the land of Israel, none of this stuff should be going on. Okay, but Israel is a chaotic nation, man, with lots of issues, lots of problems, man, and they're not meant to have any issues and any problems. Okay, they're meant to be continuously blessed. Okay, by the heavenly Father, man, because that's what the that's what the heavenly Father said he would do. He will bless them. He will bless the Israelites, and he will bless the land. Okay, but that's not what's happening. Okay, since they've been in the land, there's not been nothing but wars. Okay, nothing but wickedness being produced out of that place. Okay, the Lord is evidently not with them. Okay, Satan is with them. All right. Now the Bible is meant to is is meant to show you or give you indication to who um, the Israelites are. Okay, and that that um, includes the whole of the twelve tribes. Okay, which they they don't they don't really they don't represent. Okay, they 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 represent the so-called Jewish the Jews. Okay, that's who they represent. That's what they call themselves. Okay, mostly. Okay, they don't really represent the whole tribe of Israel, which is which are meant to be back in the land. Okay, everyone, the whole of Israel is meant to be brought back into the land. Okay, that's not that's not what's happened. Okay, well, like I said, the Bible is is meant to be, uh, you know, the primary source of information to who the Israelites are, not by some documents and and fake documents at like that. Okay, that doesn't prove that they're, 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 these these Israelis uh, descend from Judah. That's all hearsay and, and fake documents, man. Okay, they got, none, none of them have got proof that they they go back to the the, the the patriarchs, man. None of them. Okay, so the, the only only source of information that anyone has to who are the Israelites is the Bible itself. Okay, but in the Bible there's prophecies. Okay, and they have to. They have to mimic those prophecies to 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 be shown as the, the children of Israel. Okay, and yet they're not fulfilling the prophecies as the Bible has, has stated, man. But like I said, when they when they, you know these the, when the tribes the, to, the whole twelve tribes of Israel return to the land, okay, that land is meant to be in peace. Okay, and the nations are around it, okay, are meant to be in peace. Okay, King David is meant to be there. Okay, the law is meant to be taught out of the land of Israel to all nations. Okay, to, to, to follow. Okay, that's not happening. Okay, none, none of the stuff that is meant to be happening in the land of Israel is happening. Okay, there's, there's war over there. Death. Okay, killing, the, you know, like I said, that place is meant to be peaceful, man. And yet they're they're afraid. They're having to rely upon military might. They're, they're not meant to be. There is not. There's not meant to be war anymore. Okay. So that shows you, man. That this is all fake. Everything you're watching in the land of Israel today is fake, man. These people are not the real Israelites. They're not the true Jews, man. They are liars. They are imposters, man. 
And I'm just going to grab a couple of scriptures showing you these prophecies, man. Okay, so you should you should you should know that these bunch of a uh, bunch of fakers, man. Okay, these you know just articles that have come come out recently. I ain't, I ain't going to open any of them. Okay, but problems, man. The nation has problems, and it shouldn't have any problems. They should be nothing but blessed. Okay, which we know we know f f for a damn fact. You know, isn't true. We know they're they're a bunch of liars, man. Okay, so you go jump in. Okay, and we go start here in Ezekiel chapter thirty-four. I'm gonna read from verse eleven. All right, it says, "For thus saith the Lord God: Behold, I even I will will both search my sheep and seek them out." Okay, because they were scattered, right? Okay, they're still scattered. We are still scattered. You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the true Israelites are scattered around the whole world. Okay. So as a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep and will deliver them out of all the places where they have been scattered in the, in, in the cloudy and dark day. Okay. In the day of the Lord. Okay. Which hasn't occurred yet. Okay. We're really heading into that. As you can see on the, on the news and that we, we're, ever, we're ever edging closer to World War Three, which is uh, prophesied in the scriptures okay so we're getting closer to that day of the Lord that is when the Lord is going to gather his people together okay it's happening in the spirit but we're going to be taken out of this place and we're going to be placed in our own land at the end of days man okay when, when all this is said and done okay not not in what year was it 1949 or whatever year that you claiming Israel returned to the land that's some bullshit Okay, like I said, ever since they've been there, ain't nothing good happened there, man. Okay, nothing according to the scriptures has happened there. Okay, so I will bring them out from the people and gather them from the countries and I will bring them to their own land and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the rivers and all the inhabited places of the country. So I will feed them in a, in a good pasture and upon the high mountains of Israel shall their fold be. There shall be... There shall they lie in a good fold, and in a fat pasture shall they feed up, feed upon the mountains of Israel. I will feed my flock, and I will cause them to lie down, save Lord God to rest. And I says, I will seek that which was lost. Okay, i.e. us, right? And he goes to Spanish Native Americans, okay, the Israelites, right? And bring them, and bring again that which was driven away. Okay, because we all know this, you know, we should know this story. I like to point it out to us a lot that, um, oh, is Israel, the Lord, you know, disowned Israel. Yeah, but the Lord was going to have mercy. That's written in prophecy. Okay, and bring us back. Okay, so I will bind up that which was broken and I will strengthen that which was sick. But, but I will destroy the fat and the strong. I will feed them with judgment. Okay, he's going to punish us, right? This is exactly why we're into slavery. Okay, written in Deuteronomy 28 or 68, man, it will, it will um, uh, bring us into captivity by ships. Okay, that's the transatlantic slave trade, man. Okay, so that's what the Lord did to punish us, man. And that's why we're in, we're in the, the respected lands that we're in now through slavery and, 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 and migration since then. And even before then. Okay, you know, Israel is migrating places. Okay. But, you no, know, that was supposed to be an indicator that slave... slave uh, Translated slave trade was meant to be an indicator, man. Okay. Which we recognize, right? And as for you, O my flocks, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I judge between cattle and cattle, between the rams and the he goats. It seemeth it a small thing unto you to have eaten up the good pasture, but ye must tread down with your feet the residue of your pastures, and to have drunk of the deep waters, but ye must foul the residue with your feet. As for my flock, they eat that which ye have trodden with your feet. And they drink that which ye have fell with your feet. Therefore thus saith the Lord God unto them, Behold, even I, uh, I even I will judge between the fat cattle and between the lean cattle. Because ye have thrust with your side over the shoulder and pushed all the disease with your horns till you have scattered them abroad. Um, that's the one I want to get to. Right. I'm just continue reading. Right. It says, Therefore I will, will I save my flock and they shall no more be, be a prey and I will judge between cattle and cattle and I will set up one shepherd over them he shall feed them even my servant David 
he shall feed them and he shall be their shepherd. Okay, so David is meant to be back in the land today if, if they are the real Israelites. Okay, David is meant to be there. They're meant to be running a monarchy. Okay, Yahweh Shai is meant to be there. Okay, they're all meant to be there. Okay, but they're not there. Okay. And I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David, a prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken it. And I will make them, I will make with them a covenant of peace. So when the Lord was supposed to bring, bring them back into the land of Israel, the Lord was going to make a covenant of peace with them. Where is this peace at, man? Where is this peace at in the land of Israel today? This hasn't happened yet, man. we got a bunch of heathens, a bunch of bastards fighting in our land, fighting over our land. None of them belong there. That's not their land, man. That is our land. Okay, when the Lord does bring the true children of Israel back into the land, that's when there's going to be peace. Okay? And I will cause the evil beasts to seize out of the land, and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing, and will cause a shower to come down in season. There shall be showers of blessing. Okay, the land's with you blessed up, man. And that Israel's clearly not blessed up, man. Okay. So that and the So the tree of the field shall yield her fruit, and the earth shall yield her increase, and they shall be safe in their safe in their land. <laughs> okay, but they're worrying about little rockets coming over to kill people, man. And they're having to fight with Palestinians, blow block, Gaza strips, and do all kinds of madness for for peace, supposedly. You know, but that, like I said, that that is just not what is happening, man. It should be evident that these people are not the children of God. Right? I shall know that I am I am the Lord when I have broken the bands of their yoke <laughs> and delivered them out of the land of those that serve themselves of them. Okay? So like I said, none of that is happening in the land of Israel today. And they shall no more be a prey to the heathen, neither shall the beasts of the land devour them, but they shall dwell safely and none shall make them afraid. Okay? But they are afraid. Iran's going to destroy us. <laughs> They're evidently afraid, man. Okay, doing all kinds of preemptive, preemptive tasks, putting money into their militaries, iron domes, and you know, trying to get you, you know, the United States to, to do something. They're afraid. They don't feel secure where they are. They feel like they're surrounded by enemies that want to destroy them. But if the Lord is with them, they, there is no, there's no way they could be destroyed. And there's no way they will be afraid. There's no way. The Lord is supposed to be there. There is no way whatsoever these nations will ever think about doing anything. Because it's meant to be evident who the Lord's children are. And I mean evident. Like when they, when they return to the land, you're going to know that these are sons of God. Boosted up to the max, man. Spiritual power, impenetrable bodies, all of that. You, you are meant. You it is meant to be evident. You would look and just know that this is a son of God, and that that will be the end of end of the uh, end of the thinking process, man. You'd be like, oh shit. You're not even thinking to do something mad, because you you will disappear in a second. Okay, but it's not evident because these these are a bunch of gutter rats, man, doing all kinds of madness in the world. No one likes them because of their wickedness. Because of their wickedness. Not because, you know, oh, we're Jews. No, it has nothing to do with that. Because you're a fucking wicked people, man. You're a scummy, man. You're the worst of the heathen. Because who you truly are are Edomites. And that, that you are truly are Am 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 Amalekites, man. Head tribe of Esau. You're the worst of all the heathen that exist on the planet Earth. That is why no one likes you, man. You run all the industries. You create poverty. You, you, um... Uh, you create poverty, uh, 